Welcome to today's special report on a significant development in the global agricultural sector. We're focusing on Russia's recent decision to impose a temporary ban on the export of Durham wheat, a move that has sent ripples across international markets. Characterized by a noticeably firm texture and high protein content, durum wheat is an essential ingredient in the production of pasta and other goods made from semolina. Because of its strength and the hardness it gives pasta, this variety of wheat is widely prized and is a necessary component of recipes that emphasize these attributes. A noteworthy development has lately affected the world wheat market which is prone to changes based on crop output, trade rules and worldwide demand. One of the leading players in this market, Russia, has just released an important announcement that could have an impact on the supply chain for this staple grain. The nation has announced a temporary suspension of Durham wheat exports. It is expected that this action will have significant effects on the entire agricultural industry as well as the makers and consumers of pasta and other goods made from semolina. The export ban is predicted to cause disruptions to the regular flow of commerce, which could result in price adjustments, a reassessment of the world's wheat supplies, and a hunt for substitute sources by countries that mostly depend on this import. The international food market is characterized by complex interdependencies, where decisions made by a single large actor can have a cascading effect across several economies and industries. Russia's decision to impose this temporary export embargo highlights this. From the first day of December in 2023 to the last day of May in 2024 is the period of time that has been declared for the restriction. The Russian Federation's government is behind this deliberate action, which is motivated by a number of goals. Its main goal is to strengthen the country's ability to sustain itself in terms of food, which is an important measure given the increasing pressures from the global economy. Simultaneously, the approach is intended to have a moderating effect on the domestic economic scene, specifically with regard to the market prices of necessary commodities. Such a step is proposed to introduce some balance and predictability into the pricing mechanisms supporting the general public's daily life in a climate where inflationary forces are on the rise. The Russian government is demonstrating its resolve to proactively address any shortages that would jeopardize the dietary security of its people by enacting this embargo. In addition, it signifies a deliberate attempt to lessen the negative impacts that uncontrolled price increases may have on society as a whole, particularly on the most economically disadvantaged groups. This initiative highlights the delicate balance that governments attempt to uphold between protecting their citizens' interests and engaging in international trade. Essentially, the embargo is a proactive approach taken by the Russian government, emphasizing the importance of national interests in the context of determining economic policy during times of financial instability and uncertainty. Reactions to the resolution in question have ranged from agreement to disapproval. One the one hand, it serves as a reliable assurance of Durham wheat supply within the country, meeting domestic demand and preventing a possible shortage of this essential grain. This guarantees the community's continuous availability to goods made from Durham wheat, which are mainstays of many diets. However, the move has unforeseen repercussions for the global community, especially for countries that have historically relied on Russian Durham wheat exports to meet their own consumption requirements. Italy, Turkey and Tunisia, three of the major importers of this product from Russia, find themselves in a difficult situation. They are rushing to find other sources of Durham wheat because of the abrupt stop of exports. Due to the uncertainty surrounding the availability of Durham wheat, this interruption in their supply chains presents serious logistical issues and may result in shortages, price increases and even changes in customer behavior. The intricate interaction between national interests and international interdependencies is the cause of the conflicting responses. While Russia benefits from the choice in that it protects its internal food security, other nations' economies and food systems are put under pressure. In order to guarantee a steady supply of Durham wheat, these countries must now negotiate the challenges of international trade, an undertaking rendered more difficult by the present geopolitical environment. 
The case emphasizes the need for a careful balance in commerce and international relations because the decisions made by one nation can have a significant impact on those of other nations. It also emphasizes how important it is to have strong, resilient supply systems that can tolerate these kinds of setbacks and guarantee global food security. Market watchers argue that the ban's implementation is a calculated move, made in anticipation of preventing pasta prices from rising further on the home market. This expectation is especially relevant as the country gets closer to the March 2024 presidential election. The timing of this kind of action is crucial since it is thought to be an attempt to avert inflationary pressures that would impact a basic food item and consequently the average consumer's cost of living. The fact that the Russian food inflation rate was 4.9% annually as of September emphasizes the need of this measure. Although this number is not concerning, it does point to a pattern that the government is keen to proactively address. The government's intention to maintain pasta's affordability for its citizens is consistent with a larger economic plan designed to keep prices stable. In effect, the state is influencing the market price of the final product by limiting the export of durum wheat, a vital component in the making of pasta. This holds particular significance during election years, as the financial health of the populace can directly influence the political climate. Analyst conjecture points to a deep understanding of the relationship between political results and economic policies. It also demonstrates the government's dedication to putting the needs of its citizens first, particularly with regard to affordable and secure food. The ban's preventive approach suggests an intention to control public opinion and prevent any unexpected financial shocks brought on by changes in food prices. Essentially, the prohibition acts as a safety net against the fluctuations of the world market, guaranteeing that the domestic economy is shielded from outside influences that can upset the delicate equilibrium between supply and demand. This strategy is indicative of a government that is aware of the state of the economy and is prepared to act swiftly to shield its people from the damaging impacts of inflation, especially in the run-up to a major political event like a presidential election. Thus, the action is perceived as a deliberate attempt to preserve political activity during a period of economic stability and public confidence. The export ban on Durham wheat is one example of a wider trend that is becoming more apparent on the international scene. This pattern is characterized by countries prioritizing their own domestic issues more and more, especially those that have to do with protecting their food sources. International commercial agreements that have already been established are frequently jeopardized by such acts. There is a heated debate because of the propensity for self-preservation and the preference for national needs over international collaboration. The effectiveness and long-term durability of these self-centered policies are at issue in this discussion, particularly in light of how intertwined the modern world is. Concerns have been expressed regarding the long-term viability of this approach, considering the complex web of international economic networks that nations are a part of. Concern over the possible effects that these measures may have on international relations, and the world economy is also growing. The turn toward protectionism might upset the delicate balance of trade and have a cascading effect, inspiring other countries to adopt similar policies. In the end, this can weaken the principles of mutual aid and group advancement that support international trade networks. The discussion is still developing as nations struggle with these intricate problems, underscoring the necessity of carefully re-evaluating the tactics used to negotiate the difficulties of globalization while guaranteeing food security for all. The impact of the ban on some food exports will be closely monitored and examined once it goes into force. The impact of the prohibition on world food prices, the complex web of trade links and the vital problem of food security will be the main points of attention. These interrelated elements are crucial to the stability and welfare of nations across the globe. The current state of affairs will serve as a test case for the international community, offering insightful information on the resilience of food systems and the dynamics of global trade. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative and helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We would love to hear from you. See you next time.